Beautiful looking boat, hard dodger, half windshield, central helm station here. Characteristically beautiful, Halberg Rossi interior. What's up guys? I am excited for this tour today because I have got a brilliant, beautiful Swedish blue water cruiser for you. Of course, it's a Halberg Rossi and I don't think I've actually done one of these boats on the channel yet. I absolutely love Halberg Rossi's and yeah. So let's go take a look. Real quick before we get to the tour, just want to remind you guys to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and you're enjoying these videos. It certainly helps us a lot. So without further ado, let's get to the tour. Gonna give you guys a nice shot of the keel configuration on this Halberg Rossi. We do have a fin keel with a little bit of a bulb at the bottom there. It does look like there's something going on at the joint there that would need further inspection by a surveyor. Skeg hung rudder, nice robust design, characteristic of all Halberg Rossi's. All right, guys, I am now standing aboard the sugar scoop transom of the Halberg Rossi 39. And this is a center cockpit layout. And I think I'm going to like this boat. Let's go ahead and step aboard. Give you a quick shot of the cockpit here. We're going to go forward first, as per usual. We've got full teak decks, nice wide side decks, high bulwarks. Propane locker on the side here. Teak looks to be in pretty good shape. On the coach roof, we've got a life raft, as well as some dorades for ventilation, as well as some big opening hatches. Inboard shrouds here, running back stays, moving forward. Hand holds on the coach roof. Nice big four deck. We do have a big hatch right there that's kind of breaking it up. That's going to go down into the forward berth. Chain locker, vertical windlass, more ventilation. Got a big Rockna anchor on the front here. Roller furling head sail, looking aft. Beautiful looking boat. I mean, what Halberg Rossi isn't beautiful. I think this is actually the first one that I've ever done an official tour of, so I'm excited. Again, good ventilation. We've got a in-mast furling main right here. Looking up the mast, double spreader, main mast, masthead sloop rig. Continuing aft, easy to get around these inboard shrouds. General tracks. Looks like we have a bimini that is down, and then the characteristic Halberg Rossi hard dodger, half windshield dodger. I don't know exactly what you'd call it, but pretty much every Halberg Rossi has this. Little dodger on top of the windshield, continuing aft. We're gonna go to the aft deck and then into the cockpit. Tons of ventilation, actually. And then we've got a big aft deck back here, lots of space for activities. This is why. I like center cockpits is to be able to have this aft deck space right here. And then usually you get pretty big storage compartment. This one is chock full of stuff, but you got a nice big storage compartment back here as well. And a sugar scoop transom, beautiful platform for fishing, diving, whatever. And then looking up, we've got our radar, a wind generator, and it looks to be about 600 watts of solar, something like that ballpark and dinghy davits off the back so this boat is set up for cruising our main sheet is sheeted right here behind the cockpit we've got four winches in the cockpit here all lines running aft sitting here in the cockpit we've got our central helm station here 
you do have to get up on the seats here to get around it. It's not a T-shaped cockpit. Nice big cockpit locker on the starboard side there. Instruments and engine controls at the pedestal right here. More instruments up there. Good visibility all around the boat and ample protection once you have that, that bimini up. All right guys, let's head down below. First, before we get to the interior of this boat, I want to thank ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. Now, sponsorships like this help keep the content flowing, so I also want to thank you guys as well for understanding. There's no doubt about it, we live in a surveillance happy world. Big corporations now buy and sell your information, the data that they've obtained through your internet connected devices, all of the time. Also, cruisers use a lot of public Wi Fi, and public Wi Fi, to put it lightly, is not the safest. Even using your own secured private home network leaves all of your data completely unprotected from the prying eyes of your internet service provider. It doesn't matter what you're doing, nobody likes being spied on. So using ExpressVPN on public and or private networks will add a layer of security and encryption to all of your web browsing. Another big advantage of a VPN is the ability to change your virtual location to anywhere in the world. Want to watch a certain show but it's not available in your country? ExpressVPN will fix that. For example, most of y'all know that we moved to Canada, but I don't think any of you know that one of our favorite shows is Survivor. Well, the most recent weekly episode of Survivor, for whatever reason, is region locked on certain streaming services for Canadians. So ExpressVPN helps us get around this by changing our virtual location back to the United States so we can watch the current Survivor. Lastly, we even run a VPN on our router so our entire home network is encrypted and protected. Find out how you can get three months of ExpressVPN for free by visiting expressvpn.com slash learning the lines or clicking the link in the description below. All right guys, thanks for sticking with me. Now let's get back to the boat tour. Here we go. This is that characteristically beautiful Halbert Rossi interior. They just love their teak. Giving you guys a 360. We're gonna go forward first and then come back. Look at everything in more detail. So the forward cabin here, we've got a V berth with a little cutout. Pretty big V berth, lots of storage all around it. Beautiful teak in amazing shape everywhere you look. Walking into that little cutout here. Again, we're on the hard, so we've got some stuff stored down here. Once you close that door off, you've got a nice private cabin. You can see some chain plates right there. You've got chain plate access that's visible, which is always a good thing. Your head, I believe this is going to be the I think this is gonna be the only head aboard. We've got a nice big wet head in here. Storage all around. Yeah, and these, these little latches are nice and easy to use. I don't think I've seen this style of latch before. Usually you see like the little push ones. Other ones you have to stick your finger in, but these are not really either of those. So we've got a long settee here that can also double as a sea berth, sea bunk, storage below, behind, and above. This is gonna flip up here. Nice big salon table. Well, you've got wine storage in the middle there. An L-shaped main settee right here. Again, storage behind, below, and above. Let's go ahead and take a look at the bilge. Got our tankage down there wants to be dry and then aft of the salon we've got our forward facing nav station to port as well as our little nook galley right here that's going to be good right there for bracing when you're in a seaway and just good sized little galley you know not too big not too small everything you need and nothing you don't decent amount of storage cold storage gimbaled stove sink and a good amount of counter space even underneath the ladder there you got a little bit extra. Spectra water maker, that's nice. And then forward facing nav station to port here. So let's go ahead and look at that again as we move aft. We got everything we need right here to navigate, to have a little office on the boat, a little, little desk. Main distribution panel right there. We got some instruments, VHF down here. 
again, you guys know, if this was me, I'd put a screen right there, and that would be linked with a camera on the mast so you could see forward while you're down here. But that's just me. Why not use tech? You don't have to use tech, you don't want to rely on it, but it's nice to have it. Alright, continuing aft, and you just have to barely duck under here. The It's probably about 5, 6 headroom underneath this little this little tunnel to get to the aft cabin. Got hanging lockers going aft, and then a very characteristic split berth aft cabin back here. You can lay athwart ships or lengthwise. Good friends of ours filled this area in and put a queen size bed in a boat like this, which is certainly doable. Again, storage, ventilation, nice little aft cabin. The headroom opens up when you're down here. You can stand if you're about six foot tall in the middle. And then you've got mirror forward more storage so the engine is accessed from right here unfortunately I don't have a key or our pliers to open up those locks but I'll put a picture on the screen for you guys to see all right guys it's time for the full continuous below decks walkthrough from bow to CERN of this Halberg Rossi 39 Alright guys, I love Halberg Rossi's and this one was definitely no disappointment. It was no exception. It was a beautiful, well-maintained, awesome blue water cruiser. Everything about this boat, just top end, high end quality. You're going to pay for it <laughs> depending on, you know, condition and everything. So I think this boat is definitely priced well. That asking price is going to be in the description below as with all of these videos as well as the broker contact information if you guys are interested in potentially purchasing this vessel what else can i say i love center cockpits this was a center cockpit i love swedish boats this was a swedish boat i like the look of teak decks this had a teak deck this had a beautiful no-nonsense layout with just absolutely storage everywhere beautiful 
teak down below everything was in amazing shape you can tell this boat was bone dry no leaks in the cabin pretty much ever all that wood really really good shape it had a single head layout which maximizes living space and storage on a cruising vessel of this size i like that two cabin layout with the v-berth and a massive aft cabin good engine access amazing build quality just a solid blue water cruiser built to go anywhere so yeah what else can i say the future owner of this vessel is going to be very happy and i'm going to be a little jealous so that's going to be it for this one guys if you enjoyed it please leave a like leave a comment down below subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell if you want to know each and every time we drop a video see you guys i've got it right and i got it wrong but i learned my lesson hanging on come sit here with me by the fire and let it